Hey, we're here at, uh, this is Megiddo. Megiddo. Yeah, roll the D's. Megiddo. to the center of the universe, of the world of those days, where all nations come together here. And there are 4,000 years of civilizations here. Stacks on stacks on stacks yeah, of civilizations stacks. right here. According to the New Testament, this is the valley where the end of the world begins, when the Lord returns and finally has this incredible last battle. But this is where Solomon built a huge fortress. He, he was said to have 10,000 horses right here. We're going to go show you the yeah. stables here in a little bit. 4,000 years is a long time. The, 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 the horses thousands of horses all in here. He couldn't ride all those. Yeah, that's, that's actually a manger. So when you Are think you of Jesus being born in a manger, that's, that's what he's born in. That's what he was born in. It's a trough. It's a horse trough. It's located just 30 minutes south of Haifa, and it's in the Jezreel Valley. Every ancient superpower, including the armies of Israel with Joshua, Egypt, Greece with Alexander the Great, and France with Napoleon, they all fought over this section of land because it was like the intersection of so many different travel ways, roadways. King Solomon restored this city to its prominence in 1 Kings chapter 9, verse 15. Megiddo is mentioned in Deuteronomy and Judges, in 1st and 2nd Kings and 2nd Chronicles, and also in Matthew, and it's primarily talking about the Battle of Armageddon, which you read about repeatedly in Revelation. Because Megiddo is so high, yeah. there's no water here. You see aqueducts everywhere. Yeah. It's like, because they had to get fresh water into these places. Now, when you're under siege, which this place was a lot, a lot. one of the hard things was this, this water system over here, this is outside their city walls. And so they would have to disguise all of this so that the enemy could find it. Because if the enemy could find this, they could cut off their water source, and that would they would lose. So they would have to disguise this, but then the water would come from here and go into the rest of the city. We're gonna walk down into the water system. There are 187 steps going down into here. How many steps did you say? 187. Look, there's water there. Make a wish. Very slippery. Uh, what's the other side? This is the reason I'm here. I'll scout ahead. Okay. Go for help. What if here there were no stairs? They had to swing on like a Tarzan rope. They probably did. That's the way I would have wanted it. <laughs> Same help. Balto. Oh, get that out. <laughs> That's how we end it. That's how we end it. Take that out. Center of the universe, of, the, of Earth. From the strategic point of view, the main uh, key to the highways of the Middle East. That'll be sad. <laughs> All right, do you, take, uh, do you take cashier's check? You don't answer a question by an answer. Mm. Because you don't learn. If you know, you're not going to learn. Mm -hmm.